God bless you all. As we come together in prayer, we know this. Whatever comes, we stand steadfast in Christ, encouraged in the Lord, faithful in Christ, whatever day may be. Father, forgive us our sins. Guide us and strengthen us. We need to be focused on the Lord, trusting in Him and believing in His might. Looking to Him for salvation, working out our salvation in fear and trembling. Not being complacent with the Lord, but confessing all that we may have within us to the Lord. Asking God to strengthen us, to refine us, to help us, to cleanse us, to purify us, that we can be fit for purpose. We have brothers and sisters suffering in pain, health and affliction. But we know that every knee shall bow unto Jesus Christ. He is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Every knee bows at his authority, and every demon will tremble and shake, rebuking demons of infirmity, casting out demons and spirits in the mighty name of Jesus, for his name is above every name. And every knee shall bow, for all power is given to him, all authority in heaven and in earth. That it is Jesus' name that casts out every wickedness. It is in Jesus' name we ask for forgiveness. It's in Jesus' name that we ask for courage, for strength, for kindness and compassion. That we ask for fruits of the Spirit, to ask for long suffering. To wash us clean in the blood of the Lamb, which is the Son, Jesus Christ. That we in our homes can be cleansed, can be purified, can be sanctified in the name of Almighty Jesus Christ. That we have a testimony of Jesus Christ in our lives. That we can stand spreading the word to all those around in this world. That we can stand ever faithful. That the words we speak. That Jesus hear. And bring it unto our Father in heaven. That he may be glorified. In our lives. We have fellow brothers. And fellow sisters in plight. In struggle. And in affliction. Pray and come together in the body of Jesus Christ to pray for them. For where two or three are gathered, he is there among us. And it is moments like this that we must be focused in prayer. We have many that struggle, many that suffer. And at this moment in time, many come to ask for help and to ask for prayer. And we are to be a holy people, a holy priesthood set apart. Not a part of this world, but focused on the kingdom to come. So as with this in mind, I will read part of Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. And we shall begin. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we are called to pray and to intercess for one another. We have seen throughout the Bible prayer and fasting and the power thereof. So let's stand in humbleness before the Lord and pray. In my Jesus' name, O Father, in heaven we pray. 
Father, we call out now for our sister Leah is most ill, most grievous in pain and suffering. She says of her body is not doing well. So we bring her pain and her suffering to you in this time. That she can come unto healing. That she can be given peace. That she can be given strength. Our oh, holy God, mighty Father, we pray. Hallowed be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done in her life. Strengthen her and encourage her. And use her for your glory. Help her and strengthen her. That she can do as you would have her do. To live as you would have her live. And to be as you would have her be. Fill her with the peace of Christ. And the joy and the blessing of your love. Give her strength and affliction. Give her struggles. These points of peace that she is going through because of these struggles. May these struggles ease and diminish. May your spirit be upon her as we cry out to thee. We pray against all the strongholds of darkness that come against. That she can be bold in you, encouraged in you. Oh Lord, give her strength and healing. Encourage her in her daily bread. Feed her in your word. Build her up daily. Encourage her little ones. Make them strong and bold in Christ as they come in prayer. Lead her and her family in paths of righteousness. For your name's sake as you lead us all as we pray. May we be coming to you in agreement as we pray. As we are praying for Leah and also for ourselves. And for all those near and far from us. Oh Lord may we not have any gripes with anyone. No ill will towards anyone. Father if any of us struggle with forgiveness to anyone. May we be encouraged and strengthened to have forgiveness for them. That you help those that come against her and others. That you bless those that have lost their way. That they can see the error of it in turn. May their hearts be shaken unto repentance. So that all may come to the knowledge of the truth and be saved. For in you is salvation and no other. We cry out, Lord. We pray and we seek thy wisdom and thy blessing. We seek forgiveness of our sins as we forgive those that trespass and sin against us. We pray, Lord, that we can be found blameless for our lives have not been altogether perfect. But we ask in Jesus' name and his authority that you would wash us, clean us, that we may be clean in thy sight, that we may be forgiven in thy sight, that we may be seen as faithful servants in thy sight, that we can do as we ought, that we can be focused on you as we ought. So that we can be focused on serving you. Each and every one of our families as we pray. Focused on you. May we stand up. May we stand steadfast. May we stand humbly and earnestly in the body of Christ. Yours is all the power, Lord. All the glory, the kingdom, everything is yours. There is nothing that is not. So we lift up each other and our sister Leah in her struggle. That you work a work in her for your glory. That you do as you see fit. That your blessings be there. And you strengthen. 
and you bring peace and you bring courage guidance and counsel wisdom understanding knowledge fruits of the spirit gifts of the spirit in healing the holy hands be laid upon and she can stand up be healed in your mighty name of jesus we come in prayer and we thank you lord we praise you for sometimes we do forget for we become so focused on ourselves and on our struggles but we know as we are in our storms as personal as they are to each and every one of us that we can rest in your peace as we go through our storms so give us rest and peace in the storms each and every one of us go through in the almighty name of Jesus Christ most high we call Holy God Elohim, we pray, O El Shaddai, El Elyon, fill our hearts and our souls with your Holy Spirit. May our minds be cleaned and all wickedness plucked out, that we may see clearly and be washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, we doth give pray, thanks, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.